seen any of my other videos, uh, you would know that last winter in brutally cold weather, um, I started my Deer 445 successfully, no problems, but without realizing it, um, uh, the, the, the plastic uh, gear wheel that drives the oil pump inside the block, um, because of the cold weather, it broke. It was so brittle that it broke, sheared teeth. The oil stopped flowing and before I knew it I had a seized engine on my hands and obviously that was uh, a whole big, uh, in fact I, I was, the tractor was stranded for the most of the winter then until I could uh, uh, swap out the engine. Uh, I actually rebuild an engine to put in there was another video I believe I have up. But anyway, um, with that in mind, I've thought all along uh, with regard to uh, this coming winter that what would be really nice to uh, prevent that ever happening again would be to put some kind of an engine uh, block heater in there. And so I looked around and eventually I found and decided upon this uh, 400 watt um, lower radiator hose heater and it's made by cats and I bought this on Amazon. It's 400 watts. They come in different diameter sizes. This is the smallest. This is a one inch, which will be perfect for this application. Um, it came with um, some ring clips and again, uh, the, the, the heater itself. And I'm just right now assessing where best to put it. And the perfect place is going to be on the lower hose here. And I'm figuring to, I need to just cut out about an inch of, uh, of hose and it should fit in there very, very nicely. And then I will just run the, uh, the plug up out at the top of the, probably out at the top of the dash here so that I can then just plug it in and whenever I, I, I need to. So that's my intention. Uh, this should then nicely left plugged in uh, before, for a couple of hours before needing to use it. This should heat up the water in the in the lower hose here and through convection obviously heat up all the water inside the radiator and throughout the engine block uh, to a point whereby I'm going to avoid any risk of things um, you know being too cold and therefore shearing again this winter so um, I'm going to go ahead now and uh, fit it and then, uh, then put up a little more video okay so I'm ready to fit this little cat's um, radiator and block heater um, I've drained the fluid from the system. In case anyone isn't aware, there's a little stopcock right here on the uh, left-hand side of the, uh, of the tractor. You just release that and the fluid will drain out of the radiator and most of the engine. Obviously, I'm not concerned about draining every last drop out of the block, but uh, and as you can see underneath there, there's all the fluid. And so what I'm now going to do is I've marked I've made two red marks there where this is going to fit very nicely so it's about an inch I'm going to be cutting out of the lower radiator hose there take about that amount out there I've loosened off this end here so I can now remove that and there we go so I'm going to make my first cut and then my second cut, put the radiator heater in place and then close up the hose and we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that didn't take long. Uh, the little hose heater, as you can see, is now in place. That's a perfect, uh, perfect position for it. Um, I ran the wire up, I zip tied it by the uh, filler tank here just to keep it out of the way. Obviously the fan is right there. That's the worst uh, case scenario to get it caught up near the fan. So it comes up here. And I plan to prob have, I've actually got it plugged in at the moment, but the plug in, I'm just gonna tuck inside there when it's not being used. So when I want to use it, I can just uh, inch up the hood and get access to the plug, plug it in. Um, obviously I, I filled up with, um, with fluid coolant ran the engine for a while just to make sure the air is out with the with the um, caps open close them up uh, everything looks good and again I've got it plugged in it's not particularly cold today but I can feel it warming oh 
that is hot <laughs> so it is heating up <laughs> and um, the only thing I would say is the two clamps the two hose clamps that came with it are huge uh, they're kind of I mean I, I dare say they might work but they're way way too big but I do have a, a complete uh, selection I a while ago I bought one of these uh, I think they're five dollars for a whole selection of hose clamps from Harbour Freight so um, that's the job done. Um, I'm looking forward to uh, taking advantage of this in the winter and safeguarding my uh, my engine. Um, in fact, I'm probably not going to buy another one and fit it to my 425 as well, because I might want to use both tractors this winter. Um, but uh, that job, I would say, once you've thought it through, the actual, you know, Fitting the heater is probably 15 minutes max, maybe 20 minutes. Um, so easy job. Um, I think it costs 29 something uh, prime Amazon or free shipping Amazon. Um, so if it does its job, that's I think that's great value and uh, an easy job. And that is perfect place for it. Right on that lower hose, there's room for it. It's going to heat the block up. It's going to and uh, the whole radiator. Uh, through uh, just through the convection of the hot of the hot water heating up there and passing around. Anyway, I hope you found this enjoyable and uh, maybe helpful. If you like it, please give me a like. And if you uh, want to see my other videos and you like my other videos, there's about a dozen or so up there, mostly uh, focused on John Deere 425 and 445. Um, please subscribe. Take care.